Jesus, he came to call the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, he came to heal the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are still at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness supplies the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us and to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. In this Mass we continue to pray for. <clears throat> the end of this pandemic and for healing of the world. And uh, today we pray for the faithful departed, especially Lil Boa Aiton, who passed away last night, and for Gaetana Alvora, and for Rose Lavarota. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Gird yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God. The house of your God is deprived of offering and libation. Proclaim a fast, <coughs> call an assembly, gather the elders. All who dwell in the land, into the house of the Lord your God, and cry to the Lord. Alas, the day, for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin for the Almighty. Blow the trumpet in Zion, Wound the, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness, like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty. Their life has not been from of old, nor will it be after them even to the years of distant generations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I give you thanks. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing your praise to your name, most high. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You rebuke 
the nations and destroyed the wicked. Your name will be blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the people with equity. The Lord will judge the world with justice. said, by the power of Beelzebub, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. <clears throat> Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he laid their hearts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. If Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by the bills of all that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by bills of all, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out to some out of someone, he roams through the arid regions, searching for rest. Finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put, put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we heard the beautiful uh, prophet Joel, who talks about repentance, conversion, listening to the voice of God. And we all know that we use <clears throat> this passage and the next two chapters of the book of Joel during the time of Lent for. Um, you know, for penance and for repentance, for our um, sacrifices. But today, the gospel reading, <clears throat> Jesus did miracles. We all know that Jesus' healing ministry was the most profound one among all the other ministries that attracted people to. Casting a demon is one of them. But some other people, no matter what you do, they find fault. And Jesus was not alone. And you and I are not alone. No matter what you do, they know how to find fault. Not to worry, in laws. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not even. Or your own siblings. 
No matter what, they will be your worst critic. Sometimes I hear people say that my wife is my worst critic. And my <coughs> husband is, sometimes people say that, but I'm not sure how that, because it has to be constructive criticism. <coughs> sometimes, sometimes people say just for the sake of criticizing. They don't think whether it's going to affect the person positively or negatively. I'm mean, thinking about the health and well-being of the other person. I'm simply I'm criticizing. We as human beings, we are into this a lot. Maybe I'm going to give you homework. Just for today, observe yourself. How often do you, you have a critical hat on you? You walk into the store, you saw people, oh, those people in this thing. You come to home and find fault, and complain, 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 complain. complain. How many times we complain every day? I'm not talking about constructive. I'm talking about complaints for the sake of complaint. There's a story about Charles Darwin. He had a bad uh, you know, complaint you know, habit. He goes to dinner. <clears throat> the dinner wasn't good. The service wasn't good. The dinner speech wasn't good. So knowing that the host came and then apologized to his wife and daughter, saying, so sorry if that has happened. The wife said, no, 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 don't worry about Charles. He's so happy. He's very, very happy because he was able to find fault in everything. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who find joy in finding fault. Let us not fall into this trap. This is another kind of demonic that we are living with it every day. Finding fault for the sake of fault is not good. That's why they say constructive criticism and destructive criticism. Sometimes we want to we think and we want to do good, but in the way that we communicate, the way we say, the approach makes it worse. Again, Constructive thinking becomes destructive action. Let's pray that the Lord may help us because Jesus knew how to handle that. He took a step. Okay, you're telling me that I do this. Okay, what about this? What about that? So put on your intellectual hat and then handle with prudence and proper attitude. Sometimes what we do, we take it and then fight it. That's not going to help. <clears throat> Father God, we bless and thank you for this day, for the grace of mercy that you poured out upon us your children. Bless the universal church, Pope Francis, and all people of God that we may proclaim your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Oh God, we pray for our country and all nations, especially all the people and areas affected by the pandemic. May you bring healing and the end to this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Oh God, we pray for grace and patience and tolerance and for the virtue of charity at all times so that we can be kind to one another. Less complaint, more charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. What else do we pray? For our sister Gloria Loza, that she has um, safe traveling mercy to and from her destination as she takes a week off to be with her family and her friends. And this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. The Father, and the ministry to him here, to continue Jonathan's on hospital with our faith, to continue to enjoy life before us, to protect the families and friends. We pray to him. Lord, 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 hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters around the world, still operating in a spirit of fear rather than faith and trust. Pray, pray, pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for and through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, the gift of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Through the wine work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual thing. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable <coughs> to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the law of his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifice instituted by your command, <coughs> and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with beautiful service, Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, given us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross he brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and archangels, and with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we proclaim. <laughs> saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Myron, our bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Rose Lavarado, Gaetano Alvora, and Lilvova Aiton, whom you have called from this world, your son. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. <coughs> have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, St. Bernadette of Patronus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, together we pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us, deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every <coughs> evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, <coughs> that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distrust, as we await the blessed hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the same. <laughs> spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in the love of Christ to be merciful like the Heavenly Father. Thank, Thank you God. God. Michael the Archangel. Amen. 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 May God be with you, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, that such a child of Satan, and all the living spirits, who cry about the world, seeking the most of Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed weekend. Thank you. <laughs>
Oh